What in the world is this grandma mask all about? Why does she have to be like super wrinkly? Maybe she forgot to use a dryer sheet. <laughs> I'm sorry, grandma, don't get mad at me. All right, guys, today we are in Canton, Ohio on Route 62 Atlantic Boulevard, and we're gonna go in this spirit Halloween. Right across the street, way over here, you can just barely see it, is the old big Kmart. One of the first Kmarts I ever filmed when they were going out of business. But that doesn't matter today. All that matters is that there's a spirit Halloween here now, and we're gonna go in, and that is a pretty small sign. I don't remember what this used to be. I think it used to be one of those, like, errands or rent a center or something like that anyways let's go in and see if we can rent to own some halloween goodness Ooh, it's dark and spooky in here kind of cool and i bet you guys know exactly what is the first thing i am looking for and crap i can see it from right here and i can see they don't have what i want I was really hoping this would be it. So many people are posting online that they're getting all the ghost face stuff in, and I am dying to get my hands on those new masks, but unfortunately, it's not gonna be here today. However, I did notice that they have one of these shirts and only one left. It's a small. So if you're small and in Canton, Ohio, come on down and get it. Holy crap, guys, look who I just met. His name is Max, and he's getting a young Crouchy. Okay, guys, let's see what we can do here with Mr. Grimm. Here. He's whispering so quietly. All right, give me five. Okay, let's see Shorty here. Shorty, give it to us. Oh, we got to step on the thing down here. Here we go. <laughs> I never know if they're actually hooked up or if they're just using the, uh, the detector, the metal detector. What? All right, let's do Reagan here. Oh my gosh, this store is pretty fun. Come on now, miss. Talk to me. She's not gonna talk to us. All right, we'll make this head spin. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. Here's one I haven't seen in other stores, guys. It's the talking Tiffany doll. Look at that. It looks like Madonna from the 80s. All right, hold on. There's some more setup over here. What in the world is up with that hairdo? <laughs> Tiffany, I think there's something wrong with your bouffant. All right, let's see if we can get her to talk. Oh, yeah, look. Look at us. Don't you see? We belong together. Very quiet in the box. It's always difficult to hear them when they're in the box. Look at this, we got four Chuckies too. All right, let's not ignore the Pennywise sidestepper here. He's actually working. Remember, we've seen him in a bunch of stores, but I had to go like this to get it to look like he was actually working. Okay, hold on. Before I start looking at all the small stuff, let's see what they have back here. Oh yeah, right here, baby. We got a man's possessed friend, Bubba. We have two young Crouchies, even though that fine fellow up front just bought one. Three nozzles, two sitting scarecrows. Oh my gosh, we got a whole plethora of sinister spirit dolls. And we have a berry. We have burrito babies. We have rat eaters and spider biters. Whoa, Mike Tyson got a hold of this guy's ear. What the heck did you do to make that guy mad? And we have secret keeping kitties. We have the hook head hog and the hook eye guy. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. We already saw four cats over there. They have four more here and these guys. What secrets are you keeping this time? Hello, rat. We have the devil and the vampire door knockers, the burning pathway markers, and the jack-o'-lantern pathway markers and the Michael Myers string lights. So awesome. Oh look, they have the animatronic battery adapters. I've never tried these, but if you guys have, let me know how they work. Uses 4D batteries and replaces the need to plug it in. Do you guys like the regular skull better or the hand burn skull? I personally like the Bi-Sai Triclops. Holy crap, guys, look at this. Something I have not seen in any other store at all. The ghost face inflation. Somebody posted one of these online earlier today and asked if I'd seen it, and I had not. That is pretty awesome.
awesome and makes me so glad I came in here today. Look at this, he's six feet tall. He's coming out of a pumpkin. This is what he would look like in front of your house. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. And they have two of them right between the stuffed dummies and the cracked skull zombie breakers. Zombie breakers. Zombie ground breakers. Look at this, I don't think I've seen these available in other stores either. These are the alternate animatronic activation switches. Plug into the back of your animatronic in place of the foot pad, flip the switch and scare the crap out of somebody. You know what, I like this ghost face so much we're gonna leave some stickers. All right, let's check out the inflatables over here. We have the haunted tree, the gargoyle, the Sam, the ghost, the jack-o'-lantern stack, the cat. What is it with all these cats keeping secrets? We have the hearse, the jack-o'-lantern archway, and the scary clown archway. Hello, turtle bone. Hello, octobone. And hello, monkey bone. Okay, these are really cool, guys. Peepin' peepers. These are eyes that you put in your hedges. Look, there's one, two, three different eyes. Battery operated. You put them in your hedges and it looks like people are peeping on your neighbors. Why the heck would it have to be neighbors? Why isn't it just regular visitors? Because it's creepier and peepier. Oh, look what we have here, guys. It is the plush skelly bones. They must have sold out of the Crouchies because these guys have been showing up together in the stores. But we do have Zero and Sally and Jack and the Sandworm. We have the green and the burlap boogie, oogie boogie. We have Barbara and Adam with the eye fingers. We have the ghost face door cover, which is totally awesome. Oh, and we have the Jack and Sally one. I don't think I've seen this before. And a sandworm. Oh, we have a whole bunch of jumping spiders up here. Let's see if they have the new blind bags. We have the trick or treats. We have the universal monsters. We have the killer clowns and the Beetlejuice. Oh my gosh, look, we have mini secret keeping cats. Okay, we also have the horror properties here. We have the chills and thrills. More of the horror properties here. Then we have Haunted Mansion. We have Nightmare Before Christmas here. And we have these, which are more universal ones with Chucky. But I don't see any of the Spirit Halloween animatronic ones. They do have the awesome Michael Myers Halloween knife. Plenty of pajamas for movie nights. We have lots of the vintage costumes here. And I don't think I've seen this Gremlins one anywhere. That's a gizmo there. This is why I love going to so many different stores. You always see something that you haven't seen in the other ones. All right, let's test this theory here. I said the other day that the stores always have either Barnacle Boy or Mermaid Man, and this one has only Barnacle Boy. Oh, and look at this, guys. I've seen these two masks, Lock and Barrel, in other stores, but I've never seen all three of them in one store. They got Shock, Lock, and Barrel. Those are only 15 bucks, guys. Those are something that would be awesome to hang on your wall. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this in other stores. Barrel's Lollipop. Okay, let's come up here and leave some stickers for Shorty. We'll leave some for Grim. Did we already leave some for Grim? We'll leave some for Lord Farquaad, even though I think we forgot got to even look at him. I'm sorry, Mr. Farquaad. There he goes. Let's give him a minute to talk to us. Okay, I've heard you enough. Okay, wait a minute. This is cool. A trick-or-treat candy treat tote where you can see inside the mouth to just how much candy you have. You could get this and fill it up with your own candy and then walk around a neighborhood and all the other kids would be jealous. Hello, fluffy pumpkin earrings. All right, let's leave a couple for Reagan too. What in the world is this grandma mask all about? Why does she have to be like super wrinkly? Maybe she forgot to use a dryer sheet. <laughs> I'm sorry, grandma. Don't get mad at me. What the heck? I don't know if I've ever seen this one, this vintage vampire mask. Or look, they have a vintage dingus mask. And when I saw this, why did my voice go vintage vampire mask? <laughs> you could get one of these and be one hungry king of the world for Halloween. You could get the mullet and be Joe Dirt. Oh, and this one reminds me of the Beastie Boys sabotage. Look at this, guys. They actually have the Dead by
by Daylight devil face mask. Not in a costume, just the mask. I keep saying I'm not into devils and horns, but I could shave those things off and rob him of his power. I don't know what's up with this weird pleather shroud, though. I don't know. I love it, but I don't love it. Here we go. They have an angel halo. I could get that mask, cut off the horns, and put the halo on him. See how you like that, devil. All right, I think I'm gonna get this guy right here. Six feet tall, inflatable scream ghost face. Right up my alley. Oh wait, I almost missed the empty soul girl on a swing. And I just wonder how easily you could strengthen those legs so that he could actually stand up. You'd probably have to like insert some PVC pipe into his legs. Mm -hmm. 